The final on the line, 80 minutes from Twickenham. And Luke Pearce with the blast on the whistle. Smith goes deep and Alex Good is inside the Saracens 22. Seven metres out, Quinns. Levis, the skipper, securing the line-out ball. Nobody's changed. Still they move quietly, and now thunderously forwards. Try awarded. What a start for Harlequins. Taking it straight up the guts, straight into the heart of Saracens. This one was impossible, and they do it really, really well. I think both teams fight physically, um, you know, matching each other at the moment. We got away with one in the in the first half, um, and set piece, as you see there, is going to be crucial for us. So look, we're pretty happy with the way things are going at the moment. Marcus Smith breaking free somehow. <laughs> On his shoulder is Danny Kerr, and Harlequins are in for their seconds. The halfbacks in tandem, the chemistry, the telepathy, the finishing. Well, the halfbacks will get all the plaudits, but they'll be going straight over to Will Collier for giving them the platform to attack off. Not yet, not yet, under his yellow boots. Some of the quality of the defending on both sides has been absolutely extraordinary already. Here's Ben Earl. Oh, footwork, superb! Oh, yeah. And the power! Ben Earl demonstrating just some of the qualities that makes him such a special player. Oh, he's been outstanding so far, hasn't he? Farrell, once more, Ooh. just managing, managing it. Forwards, it's driven. Martin gathers, one-handed, races home. Is that a third for Quinn? I think it's a knock-on. There is clear head contact, Thank Luke. you. So on those terms, mate, we're looking at a yellow card. So Jack Walker, who's actually already left the field to have his blood treated, has been shown yellow. Not too far away, Jamie George. Here's a Toji. Over he goes. Has he grounded the ball? Ben Earl out the back free. His Farrell pops it up. Tompkins. Brilliant awareness from Owen Farrell. Saracens pounding the line every which way. So many of them came close. Tompkins finished the job. Every collision was a win for Saracens there. They inched their way to the line. Okay, Playing with the knock-on advantage, which is now over. George, and onwards from Maitland to Daly and Good, and there's space opening up here, and Ben Earl is tearing forwards again, and he won't be touched as he heads into the corner. Harlequins will be hanging their heads. A horror show at the start of the second half. Ben Earl flying into the corner, and Saracens taking charge of this semi-final. Davis, Vanapola. Quick ball again for those in black. Farrell to Vincent Koch, bursting forwards. Brilliant from Vincent Koch. Alan Davis will chase in for their fourth. And Saracens are tiptoeing towards Trickenham now. Who's that new outside centre for Saracens? What a bust from the World Cup winning tight head. Really nice play to create the opportunity and the one-on-one -on -one collision win for him. Esther Hazen holds it back for Smith and the tackle comes in from Daly. And there's plenty to do for Tyrone Green. Please, yeah, it's just... So, the yellow card for Elliot Daly. No! Smith in at scrum half, pops it away for Esterhazen. Oof! That was Billy Vonapola sent backwards at a rate of knots. But I am seeing this as a yellow card because it's direct contact. Correct, mate, I agree with all those facts you just said. Yellow for Billy Vonapola. Saracens to 13 men for the time being. Yes, 
Well, a dominant scrum. Care to Smith to the left hand side. Here's Green. And surely it'll be Murley stealing an extra few metres just to try and make that conversion that tiny bit easier. And Harlequins with two extra men finally making it count. There's still time. There's still plenty of time. Wilco low. Quick ball for Kerr. Smith running onto it nicely. So too much and did well to snatch possession out of there. And uh, Lazowski coming, piling through. For me, mate, it is. I'll show you it now. He needs to be lower than that. He cannot enter the tackle. Really good for me in Tempest. It's a yellow tin. It's the third yellow of the afternoon for Saracens. All for the same offence. And Quinn's fighting to the last, but Saracens seemingly holding all the aces here. It told you one last line out, one last drive, the knockout blow! Job done! They are tricking and bound. And all the anger and the upset and the pain and the frustration that has built in Saracens across the last couple of seasons comes tumbling through the stands at the Stonex. Ben Earl has a hat trick. What a return to the top flight from the championship all the way to Twickenham. Saracens have wrestled the trophy out of Harlequin's grasp and they are just 80 minutes now from taking ownership themselves.